tuning in to the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after show entertainment. Oh, AfterBuzz TV. After Buzz TV. The destination for TV superfans. Producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows. Interviewing celebrities and showrunners. And bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! My girl Maria. <laughs> hey guys, thank you for joining all us. <laughs> all about it. Uh, I'm here with two phenomenal dancers. Um, thank you. But that's not what they're yeah. famous for. One and his friend. Yeah. <laughs> this is Spotlight On. I'm your host, Annika Michelle. And with me is the boys from Bitten, the guys, I should say. You got it. Um, Mr. Steve Lon and Mr. Michael Xavier. Hello. Thank you for having us back. Yeah. Yes. You know, it's a warm day in LA. Got it's the beautiful. sunnies on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're really adjusting to <laughs> this California <laughs> stuff. Yeah, the, the rays are You're killing in us. full effect right now. So yeah. we were thinking of uh, of really embracing the, the California, fa uh, the stuff that we've just been showered with since right. we've been here, and we were going to come in full California beach mode. We were going to yeah. get water wings, yeah. and we were going to get like Shirtless, surfboards. Shirtless, sand Exactly, uh, we were having the, like, the, the suntan lotion surfer. stuff. <laughs> and we were going to talk like total... Like, like, just, uh, just like Tiger Cali Ray, dudes, you know? Yeah, yeah. Just, as you should. Because yeah. we're Californians now. Yeah. We're not in Canada anymore, <laughs> Toto. Yeah. Toto? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I like it. That was very good accents. Thank you. I like it. Thank you. We're actors. Yeah, <laughs> this, this is, is true. Do, You're baby. very talented at what but you the do. Real yeah. reason for, the real that. reason for these sunglasses is because Meg and I have had a long weekend. I mean, uh, it yeah. happens. We're, We're on vacation. We're there. on vacation, exactly. Why well, not? No, I love watching the sunrise, and it just so happened to happen twice on my weekend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Well, you know, it happens. It's all good. We're, we're tired, yeah, but we're, we're very having excited. A, we're having a blast, man. We love it out here. Yeah. What's, like, the most fun thing you've done so far? Or a place you visited in L.A.? Alvarado House? Alvarado House. Put that out there. Yeah, it's, going it's going live. Maybe shouldn't be. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a packed house tonight. Party tonight at Alvarado. Yeah, we're, we're never going to be allowed back here. What neighborhood is that in? I can't remember. I don't know where it is, man. It was just, yeah. Yeah. What is no that? Idea. It's like it's a, after hours. It's a place that you go after the bar. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a really fun place. It was it was awesome. It's a, uh, we shouldn't really talk. No, you should. I want to know. Yeah, no, the world shouldn't know about oh, it. It's, okay. it's sort of a... Top secret yeah. kind of thing? But what else have we done? Uh, check out Venice, of course. Yeah. Venice Beach. With mm -hmm. all the interesting characters. Yeah, gotta love those characters out yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. It, like, I, it was... Last time I was at Venice was like three years ago, I think. And it's interesting how so little has changed. Yeah. Yeah, you go it's down, the and it's the same characters, the, the same dude on the rollerblades with the same yeah. guitar. You know the the about. box and yeah, yeah, yeah the totally same guys there. doing like you know workouts. Same guys playing mm. basketball. Yeah, it's the amazing. Skaters, they're all the same. I've been there for twenty yeah. years. Like Hulk easily. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. I used, uh, I lived in Venice when I when I was here a couple of years ago. I was in I was there for like two months, and I was at that gym, yeah. the free gym, not yeah, Muscle Beach, but there's another one with like bars and stuff. And I was just the, like, I was such a sweetheart compared to really? these other people. Like, listening to some of their stories was just, like, some hard dudes yeah. talking about, like, yo, I just got out of the... Th that they just like, got like, out, man. That's, like, out. where they go. That's what he said. That's, like... Yeah. And I was thinking, like, I have a couple parking tickets. <laughs> I'm trying to get my rep up. I right. Couldn't compete. Well, you don't though. want to compete with those guys in that, right. in no, that no. matter anyway. No, so it's, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Um, I'm excited because last time you were here last week, we did not know season two premiere date, and now we do. We yeah. do have a premiere premiere date. We are, yeah, April. we're so excited. April 17th, baby. Yeah. You know what we'll be doing in LA? Mm -hmm. Watching Bit. <laughs> so excited. You know, we have such a great fan base out of uh, America, so it's really nice to you have do. them finally on board. And, you know, would you say that's a bit and giving the people what they want? Yeah. It. yeah. Would you say there's a difference between American fans and Canadian fans? Like, who's more intense? But it's the genre there's, fans. There's some pretty intense Canadian fans. Really? Like, uh, we I'm were, taking these off. Okay, thank <laughs> you like for joining. We did uh, com <laughs> so Comic Con right? in New York. <laughs> no. There was this, there was a girl from Toronto who showed up in New York, and she was like front center. Really? So she drove from Toronto. I don't I don't know how she got there. Yeah. But so she like she met you there. guys and stuff. 
I'm assuming. Yeah, no, she yeah, we made yeah. eye contact. I, she asked me to tweet. Uh, I wish I had her handle on uh, uh, at the moment. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, the, you know, we got great fans Canada yeah. and America. So no, Glad you do because I tweeted ask questions and questions came rolling in. Flooding so in. thank you everyone and keep coming. Let's thank hear them. you. We love you. Do you want to do it now or you want to you want to wait? Well, let's we'll move at your speed, baby. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I'm into it. <laughs> um, but since I have you here, I have a question for you about mm-hmm. season two because you're having a baby. Yeah, I got a baby on the way. And it's mm-hmm. a boy. Bun in the oven. Mm-hmm. This is true. It's Are you worried moment. because it is a boy? And you will yeah. know what that I means. That, I think that adds to the we drama. Do. Yeah, that adds to the drama. That's I think that's why people tune in. You want to see uh, what the heck is going to happen yeah. with baby Rocco. Is the name that's in uh, circulation right now? Did you? Okay, you haven't decided on Marco, but it's, you, yeah, it's a, it was just a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys ever Marco. watch Rocco's Modern Life? That's what it just reminded me of. <laughs> yeah, I know the yeah, show. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 talking back. about that Rocco's Modern Life. We're all in the same age bracket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah that was good. That was exactly the same song. <laughs> Rocco's Modern Life. Yeah, gotcha. that was a good show. Yeah, I don't know if that name is going to stick. We will have to. It's so a writer's decision, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I like Rocco. I wish my name was Rocco. I don't know if it's gonna happen. be a lot tougher if I'm yeah. named Rocco. I'm I'm curious to see as to what's gonna happen with the baby and like how you're gonna try to raise it. Mm. Like, mm. are you gonna raise them? Well, there's that. There, that's the tug of war. That's exactly you know, Jeremy's it. Jeremy's trying to take the reins and say, no, I'm. This is this is what we do. Right. You, know, you got to raise them amongst the pack, and uh, Logan is looking at it as I'm the father. This is my family. You know, yeah, I gotta take. I gotta, take, I gotta it. take the helm and. This is my world. You yeah. Know? Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. Um, because, it, you know, according to the rules or the, the folklore of it, he would have right. to mm-hmm. abandon his wife. And this is true. Yeah, she's she's gonna, sh- she would have to go. Sh- how do you That's, do that? How, how do you, you do that? How do you tell Nine months. How do you pick? You how bear you, a child, we're going to take, you know. That's how hard. How do you break that news to her? It's hard. Yeah, that is know? really hard. Yeah. Are you going to do anything? Sorry, but you have to move out. <laughs> you yeah. got to go. I'll take we're the gonna, baby. Yeah. You take that, and uh, it's been nice knowing you. Yeah. Do you think that that would, I mean, I know you guys already shot season two. So you do know the answer to this question. I don't know whether you can say it or not, but okay. um, we talked about this. Annika. We did. We did talk about it, which is why I'm saying spoiler it's alert. not a spoiler. Exactly. It's just right. a question. Well, we got, I would say, do you think that it's going to come to that point in season two where you have to like tell her, tell her, like bye, who I am, yeah, my real identity. Well, I mean, therein lies the question. Yeah. <laughs> that's why we tune in. That's why we watch. Right. That's the drama of it all. <laughs> um, you know, that's. It's definitely a possibility. Yeah. You know, so, she, she's captured right now. She, she doesn't is. know who, who she's her captors seen, are. She's seen, so, you know, season one is behind yeah. us. She's now seen the werewolves. She's right. seen she people knows. change. She yeah. knows something's up. Exactly. She's yeah. freaked out. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she doesn't yet know whether or not Logan is one, one of, of these them, right. Right. freaks. Yeah. I want you to go and save her. I'm sure you will. I'm, I'm sure you will. Well, I'm yeah. sure We're all I'm working on it. it. Yeah. 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 You need to save her and you need to save the baby. That kid can't die. No. No. No, I that know. that's needs, why Rocco fine. needs to be born. Rocco, <laughs> baby, Rocco. Um, he did. My seed. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess if I mean when the baby is born, I wonder if they're going to use like a child for it, like a, like cast a little infant that you or can just a puppy, you think? Maybe? Or just a doll? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a puppy. A puppy would be great. <laughs> and I would play with a puppy on set. That'd be so well, it doesn't fun. work that way. You see, because he doesn't really. Oh yeah, they, the we don't change until kick puberty. In until oh. sixteen. So you know when they say you start sprouting hairs everywhere. <laughs> yeah, in our case, <laughs> Dad, I'm oh my getting God. fur and funny faces. Oh my God. <laughs> um. Well, I kind of want you guys to get married, even though I know that's probably far sorry, fetched. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Of this course. is California. No. <laughs> you I, do it. I mean, this is LA. <laughs> I kind of want you and Rachel to get married on the show. Mm-hmm. I know this is kind of far fetched. Yeah. Because she like doesn't know what's going on. Hey, fully. she's a catch. But that she Janelle is. Williams. Mm-hmm. That Janelle Williams. She looks like I've the never lovely. met her personally, but I'm sure she's very nice. Oh my god. She's very beautiful. The nicest. Yeah. yeah. She yeah, is one of the nicest great. human beings. She's great. You could ever meet. Yeah. That's she's very sweet. She's like so. Just, she's Miss Congeniality. Oh, like, wow, everybody sweet. loves her. Yeah, she's yeah. a great, she's warm a, presence. She's got a great personality, yeah. and she's very loving all the time. She's a mother. She has two Is kids. She? Okay, yeah. well. Mm. Very nurturing. Yeah. Yeah. Very caring. That's a good... Yeah, that's uh, why, I think that's why they... Re- 
and wrote Rocco into the script yeah, yeah, yeah. because they knew of this maternal instinct. She's she already been through it. Yeah, she's right. already had a child. Twice, two times. Oh, two that's times. adorable. Yeah. Well, she looks great. She's banging bot yeah, for yeah, having two kids. My God. Yeah, she's forget about she's it. on another show called uh, Remedy as well. Oh, so okay. Canadian hospital drama. Very cool. I don't think she's, we have that in the U.S. But is it on the U.S.? I'm not sure. I, I can't don't remember think we do. I'll have to check it out. I'll have Anyways, to Google it and yeah, see. Yeah. Stop plugging all those other but. shows. Let's talk about the real stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, what are your favorite? Like, this is for both of you, obviously. What are your favorite scenes? foods? Chicken wings. Okay, mm-hmm. I like I'll it. Go with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, chicken wings and beer. Mm-hmm. You got it. Have some? <laughs> Bloody Mary. Uh, there you go. This is the second time Full Bloody rotation. Mary has come up. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> second time. It's the fourth it's time come up today. today. <laughs> 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 but what are your favorite scenes to shoot personally? Do you guys like more of the fighting scenes, more of the like dialogue-ish scenes, more mm-hmm. of the intimate scenes? Mm-hmm. Well, Mike and I always talk about one of our favorite mm-hmm. scenes together yeah. was in episode nine. Yep. When Lo- when Logan comes to uh, to Stonehaven, breaks and the news. To, breaks the news. Yeah. Right. Tells me first, and it's like all oh, like, oh my god, this yeah. is great. Mm-hmm. We get to have a little baby, or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, but I'm not going to leave Rachel. And it's, 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 I don't know, it's a great scene, but it, there was a lot of dialogue <laughs> in it, and there was a lot of emotion, and that is a really great stuff, like, great stuff for an actor. Mm-hmm. The, the scene was written really well, and the director that we had, uh, James Dunnison, mm-hmm. who we really loved, was very hands-on with it, and it's like, that is really great stuff to be able to... a couple to, more appearances. Yeah, two. but it's, yeah, yeah, exactly. Just to work within that stuff and, and navigate... Uh, all of that emotion when you have just like you're going from a range of like here to here and it's just yeah that's when the real when you really feel like an actor yeah, yeah. You know? life is all about relationships right so it's great you know that's the great thing about being an actor is uh, you get to sort of glorify these relationships and we have those moments with people uh, in a scene and in life uh, where there's you get to explore those very deep and mm-hmm. uh, sentimental mm-hmm. You know, yeah. moments in the relationship. Uh, but you know, that being said, we I think we all also really like those fighting scenes, yeah. the action scenes. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot more of that. We turn it up in season two, yeah. big time. Yeah, yeah. I can't yeah. wait. Yeah. I can wait. I yeah. cannot wait. No, I can't, <laughs> wait. I can't wait. <laughs> That's what it sounded uh, like. I, I can like, wait. No, I, I have time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been waiting this long. You guys are like on what episode six in Canada right now? This is ridiculous. Yeah, five was last five. night. Oh, yeah, five, five was last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. I feel like by the time April seventeen rolls around, the season's gonna be done in Canada. Mm-hmm. What's going it will, on? Will actually? I think. Yeah. Well, you gotta talk to Sci-Fi. Hey, mm-hmm. shout out to Sci-Fi. <laughs> We love the sci-fi. What's going on? Well, you know what? They're putting you guys on April 17th, so we can't complain yes. too much. It's happening. We have a date. At all. Thankfully. But At all. Yeah. I'm, I'm very excited. I know what I'm going to be doing that night. Mm-hmm. Watching y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a two-hour premiere. I can't wait. Yeah. 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 It's so going to be get fun. You, get your bucket of popcorn. Yeah, popcorn. Yeah. Get, get the that friends around. Yeah. Turn the phone yeah. off. Turn, Turn the phone, the phone on, on silent on and just watch Bitten. That's it. That's yeah. Right. Just Bitten night. Bitten night. Bitten night. You guys have a lot of shirtless scenes, Sometimes. as I'm sure you do know, both of you. I've heard. Um, <laughs> and so what do you do to prepare for these scenes? Like, what kind of workouts do you do? What do you eat before? What do you not eat? Do you do, like, don't lie. Do y'all just do push-ups on the side to, like, bulk up? Sometimes. Like, before we take yeah. it, like, in, on the, in the moment, yes, for yeah. sure. We're doing uh, Thank you for your honesty. I appreciate yeah. that. We have, like, <laughs> sandbags and yeah. stuff. And, yeah, right. You lift each other up. <laughs> yeah, we just, yeah. Uh, uh, I, yeah, we really stepped our game up uh, season two. Especially, like, uh... Greg Brick. Yeah. You know, he, he, he lost really, a bunch of yeah, weight. He lost Did he 20 really? pounds. Cut he lost down. 20 Dang. pounds. He, was, he said that he was looking at the young cats and saying, okay, mm-hmm. well, if they're going to look like this. And, right. right. He wanted but, to you know, he was, already, he was already He was not point. bad at all. He no. was already on point. No, no, for sure. He stepped it up it, as well as we all did, you know, yeah. well, Grayson included. <laughs> so <laughs> hard to improve upon perfection. But <laughs> I know, I know. It's like, yeah. stop, stop working out. Just stop. Yeah. <laughs> Just eat, please. please. Yeah. Eat all the junk and don't go to yeah. the gym. But it's funny, like, Grayson loves to eat. We all love to eat, obviously. Right. Like, it's, we go out to dinner very often and just get, I don't know, just everything on the yeah. menu. Grayson is a real big foodie. So when we have to be conscious, it's like that's all we talk about is how we want food. But when we're prepare- preparing for the shirtless scenes, right. we're eating you know very little carbs and yeah. very little sugars and stuff. And, Do you guys uh, cut out alcohol or is that still stays? Um, maybe cut out <laughs> beer. Alcohol so much. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A little yeah. bit of the lighter cow stuff. Yeah. Right. But I mean, like, uh, yeah, we wouldn't go as hard, you know, because right, right. with 
alcohol comes, all those other bad exactly. habits and eating poorly. Yeah, and I mean, poorly. when you're shooting, you kind of you're you're focused on the season and you sort of you know takes up all your focus. It you, does. Yeah, it's but so, it's exciting. Yeah. You know, it's like you, you set a goal for yourself. And for our photo shoot, we did a gallery shoot, and we had like a good notice of when that was coming up, yeah. so we were able to. Yeah. Like, to work out All a lot. Your you guys, photos. Well, you guys cut. Yeah. You, were, you guys were cutting. We were cutting water too, like boxes. Were you really? It was the first time I've ever done that. It was that's crazy. Interesting. Didn't drink water for like two days. That's so. I feel like that's so unhealthy. It's extremely unhealthy. It's yeah, very like, get, shocking. Yeah, you get pretty yeah. cranky. Yeah. You know, you're not drinking water. Well, you you sort of cut down on your water intake incrementally by day, and then okay. on the, on the so final day. So, what do you drink? Nothing. Nothing. No liquids. That, I feel like you'd be in the hospital dehydrated. Yeah. That's why, I mean, like, you have little bits up until, right. and then, like, the shoot was at noon or something like that, so I didn't drink water until, until afterwards. Point. Okay. But then just, like, was ch- chugging oh, it down, I'm oh. sure. I saw some of you guys' promo photos. <laughs> I'll never do that. Did that look? <laughs> Damn it. Oh, my God. Coming to you live here on After Buzz TV. So funny. Coming to you. <laughs> Um, what has been some of your favorite, like, most embarrassing scenes to shoot? Because you guys told me a favorite one, so you can tell me an embarrassing mm-hmm. one now. Yeah, the embarrassing ones. Uh, don't I lie. Think the, Everyone I has think, an embarrassing yeah, scene. Yeah, well, embarrassing. Try to forget about it. I don't know. <laughs> I think, like, good job in, in retrospect, like, when you look back and, like, your butt's on the internet, you're like, oh, mm-hmm. I, maybe I would prefer that that wouldn't be there. Right. Right. But, I mean, yeah. when you're in the moment, it's just, it's the story. So you sort of, you know, get caught up in what you need to do. You got a job to yeah. do. You got to yeah. tell a story. And uh, so it's not really embarrassing at the time. But, yeah, when you're in hindsight, you're like, okay. you're like hmm. mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. I'd prefer if people weren't posting those things. Right. But yeah. And it's uh, it's hard. You're you're your harshest critic. Yeah. You know, I, I think have a, everyone is. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I have a very hard time watching myself. Um, I'm getting better, but yeah, it's like it's good. been it's been difficult. It's like so. Johnny Depp doesn't watch himself. That's right, yeah. yeah. He hasn't seen it's kinda awkward, thing. I'm not gonna lie. It's kinda crazy to think of all the stuff that he's been in. He hasn't just been like in an airport and one of his yeah. movies on or something. And it's weird, like, he goes to his premieres. I mean, like, does he just walk out and not watch the movie? Yeah, like, what I have no like, idea. What is okay, the movie's starting to put a blindfold You know Johnny Depp's got a room somewhere where he closes the door. And he probably just, has watched like, it. All day, I every doubt day. that he's not seen I'm sure he's it. seen. Yeah. Maybe not with anybody around. Alice in Wonderland, because that was a masterpiece. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would love to see that. I'd love to walk in on Johnny Depp watching, watching, watching himself that, yeah. as that. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um, but a fan question I'm going to get to early because it's relevant to this about okay. when he brought up his butt being on TV. Mm-hmm. Fans want to know, Steve, is your butt going to be shown this season? <laughs> that was legitimate a question. That's a legitimate yeah. question? I can tell yeah, you who he avoided it. it. You could have dodged that for a season, man. You were the only one. Yeah. Was that by That's your choice or was that like... <laughs> tell him what your dad said. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Say it. <laughs> no, I can't. Yes, you can. <laughs> I do want to say hello to my dad. Dad, I love you. I'm proud of you. You're my hero. That's very sweet. Shout out to Mr. Michael Lind. And we want to we do want to talk about how it is International Women's Day. It is. Happy mm-hmm. International Women's Day. It's my favorite day of the year. Hi, Aww, Mom. Oh, that's very sweet. Yeah, we love you women. I love that you changed it from my question into... <laughs> Transition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um. I mean, that was a legitimate fan question. It's yes or no. Do you think it's going to happen this season? Yeah. Uh, there's a very good chance. Okay. Yep. Well, there you that's go, fans. All, that's all I'll say. All right. It's coming together like butt cheeks. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't, want to, I don't want to crack you up or anything. <laughs> um, I kind of Instagram looked at your guys' Instagram and saw. You creeped us. I did. That's the term. I did. You know it. I violated. Um, but Invasive. I saw that y'all went to Mardi Gras together. We did go to Mardi Gras mm. together. So, oh my how God. was it? it? Was, was it your guys' first time? First time in New Orleans. Not for me, not for me. My, uh, my second time in New Orleans, my first time first Mardi, Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Yeah. 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 And? Oh, oh, my God. So many, I've, you know, I've never been in a town. There's so many weirdos crammed in one space. Really? But it, show in the that most beautiful affection. way. Like, it's awesome. Yeah. Just, like, the, the spirit there is so high. Like yeah. The spirit is the right word. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, that, that town is just, there's this haunted essence to yeah. it that's so charming. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. You know, and we had uh, so my best friend Jess and I yeah. and Mike all drove from Canada here and, and stopped by in Mardi Gras, and Jess and I had done the drive before, and we yeah. met a, we met a really nice girl uh, in New Orleans. Who we kept in touch with, so we yeah, got yeah. together with her when we were there, and she took us to 
like <laughs> off the strip, right. like off what the beaten path. At the warehouse? I can't pronounce the name of it. It was something like Big Bleeps and Big Bleeps. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you uh, guys can put it together. And it was uh, it was Figure an it amateur uh, uh, strip show, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. They called it a. Uh, they, I mean, they, they said it was amateur, but How there was some pros. Amateur? There was some. There was some pros. <laughs> they were all pros. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like they knew what they were doing. It was in an abandoned warehouse, okay. uh, underneath an overpass, next to a rail yard. Oh my like gosh. it was Uptown. the coolest thing ever. Yeah. We roll up, and there's just a bunch of people. Big fire pit, like mm. bumping music That's everywhere. So cool. And then you go inside this place, and it's just got. There's just people. Everywhere, they're just like on top of each yeah. other. It's so sweaty, like music's going. And then there's a stage, and there's just a b- bunch of naked people just guys and freaking girls. guys and girls and, guys and everybody, girls. And, uh, and aliens. I don't even know. <laughs> Everything was going it down. It was one of the coolest things I've That's ever cool. seen in my life. Love, was there beads town. getting thrown there at that party or not? Not at that party, party no. but we just came from our, uh, from the parade. These are the ones so. that like don't. They don't do the touristy stuff, right? right? So we showed up with our beads on, and we were hated by everybody. Really? They were like, yeah, yeah, we only ones. Beads. Them. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, my neck was weighing me down. Oh my gosh, yeah. you had oh, so many beads. So I saw you, like, you yeah. know, like, we did okay. We did okay. <laughs> had a good time. Yeah. <laughs> there's a, did you see the video? Of, of I did not me? see the video. I'm going to have to Instagram stalk again. There's a short little hilarious video of me taping uh, the parade, and then this giant uh, plastic... Uh, like diamond ring on okay. a on a necklace comes oh, flying yeah. at me and I didn't see it and it just smashes me in the face. That's, yeah, it's yeah. a really that's funny amazing. video. That's perfect timing. It was yeah. incredible timing. It was so funny. And then you can hear the laughter like afterwards. Of everyone like, what in the world is going I on? I know, and I'm because I'm like, ow. Yeah. And I had a welt on my forehead, like legitimate bruises. Oh my gosh! So you guys would go back safe to say. Oh my god. In a heartbeat tomorrow. Right now. Uh, right now, get in the car. As soon as you wrap this up, yeah. we all know where you guys are going. Yeah. Yeah. Back to New York. I've always wanted well, to visit there, actually. It's yeah. pretty cool. Go dream Mardi Gras. I mean, Mardi Gras is over now. Done now, yeah. 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 Even just like, even if you go whenever, like like I said, it's just such a unique place. Yeah. It's worth checking out. It's my I'm favorite place. I'm going to do it. Aw. Yeah. And have you traveled a lot? Or? <laughs> no, that's the first place I've been. <laughs> okay. No. Halifax, Toronto, New Orleans. And, yeah. You've traveled, though. You've gone to like Caribbean islands. You have to have like gone to. You was like, been to Mexico. Thailand. I was in Thailand. Oh, I was in we Europe. talked about that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. How about you? Have you traveled a lot? I haven't traveled a lot. I actually left uh, North America for the first time this past year. Wow. Where'd you go? I went to Anguilla. Okay. Which How is, is a that? Small island, uh, twenty minute boat drive from uh, boat ride from uh, St. Martin. Okay. That was beautiful. Oh, I Michael bet. Michael Jordan is that vacays cons- there. Denzel. Did you see them there. all there when you were there? No, but <laughs> De- Jordan, Jordan was there uh, not long before I was there. Oh, how funny. And I was talking to a bartender, uh, and she was saying, oh, yeah, Michael Jordan was here. He was, like, very standoffish, a little quiet. But then there was one night where the music was going, and, was, and he started dancing on the table. I'm like, that table? He was dancing on that uh, table? <laughs> Hold on. Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah, I got a shot on this. <laughs> really you might see it. This? Yeah. <laughs> Smell. I was. Success. I got up on the same table MJ was on. Oh my gosh! And I love it. yeah, they had a great basketball court there. I was just like, Shoot. Shoot. I'm like, Jordan was probably out here too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're pretty much that like cool. BFFs now with him. I mean, hey, how that mean? Romance going on. Yeah, like, he doesn't mean, know Michael. it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Michael, if you're watching. Holla. <laughs> Holla. <Yeah>. Tweet us. <laughs> Watch Jordan's the Instagram with you. Tweet in the questions. <laughs> um, yeah. Speaking of, let's go to those fan questions because they have some yeah. really good ones. So you guys are going to be excited about these. Okay. I was excited mm-hmm. when I read them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, uh, list, because... Oh, that good, is it? Yeah, yeah, somebody just took a screenshot of y'all. Let us know who they are because we I have, will, I will. we're in good contact with a lot of them, or at least keep track... I will. I will. T- I would tell I you. I bet you that girl yeah. from the New York Comic Con is, is tweeting right now. Tweeting right now. Yeah. So here's one from Ascania Nova at Mr. Huh. Vicky Guman. Okay. It, and he or she says, I guess he says, and at last, what's in store for Steve's and Michael's characters for Bit in season two? Well, I know you can't say much, but yeah. I mean, whatever's aired, can you at least say? I about guess those? we just say like you know we pick up season two three days later mm-hmm. from where we left off in season one. So right you, out of the if gate, you follow, if you were following season one, then there's you know there was a lot of cliffhangers and the goal right now is to get Malcolm, right? Get Rachel, obviously. Save yeah. her, save but the baby, save Rocco. Get, exactly. Get Rachel. Everybody's got 
a focus on you know yep. the dot is on Malcolm. Because Laura uh, or Elena is obviously like full of vengeance. She she has to avenge her boyfriend's death and yeah. it's just sort of thrown in a loop. And, and so there's a darker side of her, for sure. And uh, and so we're all just on the same page there, like trying to go to rally together to to get all this this wrapped up because it, stuff is hitting the fan. Yeah, it, and we take on a really it's a darker tone, season two. So, mm-hmm. uh, uh, horror has been thrown yeah. around a lot. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, more of a horror feel, too. Yeah, it's just, uh, the stakes are definitely Are higher. High. Well, yeah, because yeah. there's other mm-hmm. people's lives at stake, for you sure. see Logan just, like, coming apart at the seams, you know? Like, yeah, no, you know, it was so much fun to play. Yeah. yeah. You know, great creative minds, D- uh, Dega Fricklin and Wills Mack and all of our writers. J.B. Uh, Sugar. James Shooks, <laughs> Sugar Knight, what the bay. Shout out, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, this is kind of in those lines. Bitten KGW says. Mm-hmm. Bitten. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If Michael was a writer, how would you write Logan and Rachel's ending storyline, and how would you end Nick's? Oh. How would I end Nick's? Just I don't, end this his is life? literally That's, like what it says. How should we kill Nick? <laughs> yeah. Where are you getting married? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping not kill because I don't want Nick to die. <laughs> that's a, that's a good question. I mean, not <laughs> Go ahead, give the people uh, what they want, Mike. How uh, how would you kill me off? <laughs> oh man, how would I, Rachel? I I guess you know I I, I would love there. You know you you want to see that fight where he's got to like tear through people yeah. and get to, get the girl, and then uh, you know end up in Jamaica like he was planning in season one. Right. Um, you were gonna like take the kid and run. Yeah, we were on our way out. We were going off the grid. Off the yeah. grid. Was the plan. You know? Exile. And, and, you know, he was very open about that, especially right. with uh, Jeremy. Uh, so yeah, I, I, w- I would like to see him be able to raise his, you know, his, his newborn baby. And yeah. You start that family, and uh, you know, I make you the godfather. Godfather. Of, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you very much. I accept it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like it. I don't you, think that's an end. I think that's more that's of a beginning for Nick. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, definitely. I would raise him. I would rear that child. <laughs> uh, would you like to get the monkey off your back? Like, would you like her to know and then just be okay with it? Like, would you ideally like to have her be able to come to Stonehaven? And I don't think he wants to, but I think that's more of like the coming of age for this guy. Like, you right. know, he, he's got skeletons in the closet, and I think it's always best for people to sort of you know air it out. Yeah. You want you want a character, or you know you yourself as an individual to be able to just mm-hmm. live comfortably in your own skin and not have any secrets. So I think, yeah, I yeah. Think he would like her. I think it would be good for him. Like, if you were to go off the grid and go to Jamaica, what would you tell her? Which is beautiful, by the way. Yes. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, Jamaica. So gorgeous. Yeah. This should be a travel show, too. I know. <laughs> yeah. I that was actually one of my questions. Like, where would you want to shoot if you could? Oh, oh man. I, I was hoping. When I saw Jamaica in the script, I was like, okay, so We're gonna go. bags are packing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, ready my, my, I'm ready to go. Let's yeah. do it. Got the trunks. Yeah. It's gorgeous. I'll meet you at the airport. Yeah. You guys would love it. There is talk of, uh, I don't think this would be giving anything away for season three. <gasps> Uh, that would maybe lead us to a European destination. Oh, maybe. I like it. So there was some talk of maybe going to somewhere in Europe yeah. to shoot. That sounded really nice. That does sound very nice. Yep. Do you think so. there'd be an argument if some of the cast can go and some of them don't have scenes there so they can't go? I don't think Probably. Laura was going to go. Really? No. no they, I think it was just Nick they didn't want on her. a cruise for the whole season three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I yeah. heard that. <laughs> Genius, this writers. Huh? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they know what they're doing, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, but this question's for you, Steve. It is: Is Steve coming back to Haven, and will it affect his staying on Bitten? And this is from Kira Nanand Vulatak at Nexiz Five. Um. Steve is leave? returning to Haven. <laughs> I, did you leave? Did Steve? Did, did Nick, Steve leave? Did Steve? Did Nick leave? Uh, my character on uh, on Haven, you mean? Oh, Haven. Haven. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I will be coming back. Yeah. Uh, in some way, uh, but it will not affect Bitten you whatsoever. Bitten. No. Okay, I'm no. excited. But I will make an appearance in. Uh, I think it's not until 2016. 
Wow. Yeah. It when, sounds when so far, aired, but it's next year. It is next year. It's crazy. It is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I was just having dinner with uh, uh, Sean Piller, who's the yeah. executive producer, and I was wondering, when's my episode out, man? And right. he's like, not till 2016. And I was like, what? Yeah. So. And uh, actually, the director of that episode was uh, Colin Ferguson from the show Eureka. Okay. Do you know that show? I've heard of it. Eureka was on yeah. the Sci-Fi Network for yeah. a couple of years. Uh, and he is one hilarious guy. So That's we were just awesome. talking about that. We had lunch uh, uh, a couple of days ago. Yeah. yeah. You have a lot of lunch days, I can tell from Yeah, it's <laughs> LA. It's what we do. We have lunches. It's brunch. Um, oh, my well, God. I missed a lunch earlier today. Oh. That's hilarious. Um, before we wrap, because we have to end this really soon, I'm going to do yeah. this thing called True Color Questions. Okay. So I'm going to say something. You guys tell me who from the cast is most like it. Perfect. They're not here to defend themselves. So Perfect. Okay. I'm just saying. Slander. Yeah. Smear campaign. Um, Air it out. Don't, obviously, these are not bad questions. These are just, you know, whatever. Make so the, the, the first worst. one is... Who spends the most time at Crafty? Grayson. Grayson. Yep, Grayson. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. He never stops eating. Yeah. That's crazy to me. It's amazing. It's cr- mm. He's nuts. It's a garbrator. He yeah. Next um, question. Who messes up their lines the most? Hmm. <laughs> that face makes me think it's I, you. I'm going to say it. No, it's I, not. I, I, I'm going to say Laura. Not that she messes up often, but she has, but a she lot has of lines. so much. She has so a lot of time yeah, to like, yeah, focus. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. That's yeah, fair. It, does. it is fair. I yeah. would screw up. But, yo, sometimes I mean, I would. <laughs> she's amazing. Yeah, no, Love she's. I'm bummed she was busy, so yeah. maybe it's next right. time. No, I know. It's, it's too oh, bad. Yeah. I'm living yeah, with her. And How's that going? Good? It is going well, yeah. Having a little roomy yeah, time? Yeah, her and her little dog Frankie, who I'm so in love with. That's adorable. She's the sweetest thing ever. Frankie yeah. Blue. Frankie Blue Eyes. She's got these crazy blue eyes. Blue eyes, eyes like yeah. yours? Even more vibrant. Even more? Yeah, you can get lost in it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, take it easy, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. We're talking about the dog. This oh, my gosh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dog. Um, who laughs the most during intimate like, sex scenes? Who's, like, who gets nervous and like has to maybe do a few more takes than necessary? Ooh. I don't know. I don't Whatever know what it's girl like. Girl, you're with. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we ha- have fun. We were talking about my s- sex <laughs> scenes sex last scene. time. Yeah. Really. I don't know what it's like for Laura and Grayson though, because we're not there to watch it, okay. obviously. But they're like, you know, brother and sister kind of right. like dynamic. So That's it's like. Odd, then. I know. It's <laughs> just really the idea. Really I mean, it just makes it weirder. <laughs> yeah. Just watch, <laughs> even watching the show when they're going at it, it's like. <laughs> what's happening there? Yeah. Going at it, yeah. Mm-hmm. See what's going on on. Jalen, <laughs> because you guys know them personally, but for everyone else, it's like, oh my god, yeah, they're yeah. so into it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys know them, you're like, okay, actors. gotta go. I know, yeah. <laughs> hey, beautiful people, man. Yeah, no, for sure, 100. So, um, percent yeah. That's cool. You can't imagine doing a sex that... scene with my best friend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's yeah, totally taking can. a turn for the worse. Yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> uh, um, shout out to or John. your sister, you know? <laughs> Ugh, yeah. Okay. Who takes the longest uh, to get ready? To get ready? Yeah. Um, Greg Brick, easy. Really? No, no. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe him. Maybe Steve. My hair is his a hair, particular. He's very finicky with his hair. Really? particular about it, yeah. so yeah. It takes you a while. It does take me a little while, yeah. But you got the tattoos you got to cover up. Oh, yeah. I that is, that's yeah. true. That takes I, a yeah, I noticed time. that. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. I didn't see these on TV. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, but we have the great makeup people, that, and never, they never complain about it, which, you know, sometimes people are like, oh, Cover his tattoos. <laughs> uh, but like Mick Magoo. <laughs> Your makeup people. There. There are tattoos. Gotta cover his tattoos but, uh, up again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Larissa, our, our makeup girl, she's mm-hmm. she's always mm-hmm. she's got tats of her own. So yeah, I guess yeah. it would be me then. Yeah, yeah, you do take a while. Um, who is a party in a lot of your crew? I mean, I guess after your stories, I would have to say. I mean, we all party pretty hard. Yeah, yeah we're right? all we're yeah, each on par with each other. Yeah, Grayston, when he goes, goes hard. And, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, Mike and I have spent a lot of long nights together. And, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Stop the with sound. the innuendo. What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> the way you said it, like we've spent a lot of long nights together. It just uh-huh. sounds, no, I heard it. Yeah, you know, yeah. I was there. Um, it's just <laughs> so bizarre. you have a little bromance there. The world knows. They can see it. We yeah, have. Yeah, we. we there's, there's, like no a, there's definitely like a brother. Oh, for thing. sure. It's, uh, it's I can there. see it, and I'm yeah. sure the home viewers can all see this on television we have a good too. Time. Yeah. Well, we can know. say anything to each other, which is great. Yeah. That's good. That's Mike, important. You're an yeah. idiot, Mike. Well, you know, honestly, a little, a little <laughs> we can say that. <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, who would you say out of your whole group is the most flirtatious? Steve. 
Steve. Yeah, yeah. Easy. Steve. Hands down. <laughs> <laughs> he nominated himself. Yeah, he doesn't. Everybody. He can't communicate without flirtation. Yeah. yeah. I just love people. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. fun. It's healthy, I think. <laughs> it's healthy. It is healthy. Um, so, out of your whole group, who's most likely to lose a winning lotto ticket? To lose the ticket itself? Yeah. Mm. The winning lotto ticket. Mm. I would guard that stuff. It's not me. Who would it be? Let's just I don't, I, I don't believe in lottery tickets. Okay. I've I've always been like I'm not getting that damn ticket. If I'm gonna win, if I'm gonna I'm have millions of dollars, is gonna be I'm gonna earn it through yeah, through yeah, work yeah. or not at all. Get your nose dirty. So yeah, I might lose it. <laughs> okay, yeah. good to know. <laughs> we have to wrap up in two seconds, but before we go, can you just give advice to anybody who wants to join acting? Like just the best advice that you can yeah. give for people out there who want to do what you guys do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I said this in New York Comic Con. Risk it all. Mm-hmm. That's, That's you good. Know, you just you just gotta go all in or not at all. Just go get it, you know. And that's, I think that's anything in life. Mm-hmm. Just, yeah, trust in yourself. I mean, it's a hard journey. It's a long journey. Um, and if you don't have belief in yourself, then, you know, you're, no you're never going to succeed. No one's going to believe in you. Of course. Yeah, yeah anything true. you do in life, you can either succeed or you can fail. And yeah. you got to have that inner confidence in yourself yeah. to, to, to take that risk. You this can do it. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I like it. Well, thank you guys for joining me. I had a lot of fun. Oh, my God. Thank you very much for having us. It was a blast. Before we go, just tell them where they can find you. And I don't mean your home address. Handle. Uh, You can find my Twitter handle and Instagram is at Michael underscore Prof X. Professor X. And I am at Leven Stund, L-E-V-E-N underscore S-T-U-N-D on Instagram and Twitter. Tweet. And you can find me on Twitter at Annika underscore Michelle and on Instagram Annika Michelle one and my website Annika Michelle.com. Thanks for watching guys. Go Habs go. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.